What is up, everybody? Zach Campbell back here at the Gochiuk Sky Dome for the MLB opening series in Seoul, South Korea. Now, this is the second and final game, and the Dodgers' Japanese phenom, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, is making his major league debut tonight as the starting pitcher. So I am psyched to get to see him play. But before that happens, I'm looking forward to batting practice, getting inside nice and early, running around, trying to catch some baseballs. So there's going to be a lot of stuff happening here today. Let's get to it. I saved my videographer's life on that one. A long home run hit by Max Muncy. Kind of tough to get a shot of it because I was so close to her. That one felt good, my first of the day. And now the Dodgers' second group is just getting started. So there's now two lefties in this group and one righty. Looks like Jason Hayward is stepping into the cage and I caught one of his home runs here yesterday. So I might stay in this spot, we'll see. So that's kind of cool. That kid out there who just threw me a ball, threw me one yesterday. That is Mark Pryor's son. His name is Matthew. And he recognizes me. He watches my YouTube videos. So glad to have this one. And uh, that's number two on the day. Not a huge total. I think I'm going to head to left field for the end of Dodgers BP. And then the Padres are still going to hit. So more chances to snag more balls. Korean copy yes. of my second book, Watching Baseball Smarter. That is cool. Thank you very much. Hell yeah, you're uh, welcome. First time I've ever signed a non-English version of that book. All right. Whatever happens with the rest of Dodgers VP, this is way cooler. Zachampel.com slash merch. Pick one up for yourself. Hell yeah. It works. All right. Love it. Yes. 
This guy is the man right here. We'll get him in the video more later, but <laughs> yes. Are we having fun yet? to see the big boys taking their cuts in BP. For the Dodgers, Otani for the second day did not hit. But for the Padres in their first group, we just had Fernando Tatis Jr. and Manny Machado. So I was playing deep in the walkway in left field, hoping for some 400 plus foot home runs. But there were none that came anywhere near me. Still exciting to have a shot. And so for now, as always, just trying to plot my next move. So late in batting practice, I was feeling out of place, hanging behind the walkway, just not sure where to be. But thankfully I moved down in front, and this coach right here, Herberto Andrade, who's been a bullpen catcher for like 20 years, I think he recognized me right here, and he tossed me this ball. So that was number five on the day, and there really weren't too many kids at this game, but I handed the ball to one right here, and I think a bunch of folks in the neighboring sections must have seen that because a lot of people came up to say hello, get some photos, have me sign a few things, which was really cool, but this was during batting practice. So obviously I didn't want to miss a ball, but on a more serious note, I didn't want anyone to get hit by one, and when your back is turned toward the field, that can happen. Now, look at this guy in the cage right here. At the time, I wasn't quite sure who it was. Turns out it's Jose Azokar and he was launching baseball. So there I am back in the walkway briefly and look where this one lands in the walkway much closer to the foul pole. So he launches this one as well and you can see I'm down in front again just really struggling to find the best place to be since it was so crowded and look at my reaction here with my hands on my head. Not sure if you saw what happened but here's a slow motion replay. The dude circled, he's wearing a glove and gets drilled on the forehead with a home run ball. That was so scary. Thankfully, he was okay. It was more of a glancing blow, but my God, people, you gotta pay attention. So that was the end of BP, and I hung out with some more fans, which again, really cool to do, but I was very eager to get moving because of that name right there, Yamamoto. I wanted to see him warming up for his first major league start along the right field foul line and I decided to take the scenic route and make somewhat of a lap around the stadium because why not check out as many different things as possible. These lines, oh my god. I really want shrimp, but no, I gotta go watch Yamamoto! There is all kinds of hype in this dome tonight. And let's start by talking about Yamamoto. He is only 25 years old, and he won three MVP awards in Japan. And he's projected to be a top pitcher in Major League Baseball. So again, I am so happy to be here watching him make his MLB debut. And just the vibe overall, the dance squad out on the field before the game, and the player introductions again, this place is rocking. And look, I gotta get a friend of mine in the video, I mentioned him before, get on in here, say hello to YouTube. This is Yanho, everybody. He lives in Seoul, 
and we've been friends for a few years and he's been extremely helpful on this trip. So I was giving him some baseballs earlier. He is really hoping to get one of the commemorative Soul Series baseballs. He didn't get one yesterday and I did. So I'm gonna spend a little time in the outfield, gotta try to catch a Shohei home run. But then I might be in foul territory with him trying to work it, trying to get a third out ball. <laughs> so we'll see if we succeed in that. You ready for it? Yes, I'm ready for it. Give me a fist bump. This guy is the man. And uh, yeah, the players are about to take the field. So here we go. Let's go. What was I saying earlier about three MVPs in the Japanese League? Yeah, well tonight Yamamoto lasted just one inning and gave up five earned runs. So his career ERA is now 45. That's not so good. We are in the bottom of the second. Padres are up five to one. And I am scrambling all over the stadium tonight. You can see where I'm standing on this weird ass walkway. And very, very deep left field. Shohei might hit this inning. He's due up fourth, and Jason Hayward led off uh, with an out, so I'm hoping he comes to bat, and I guess I'm gonna go back and forth into foul territory. Still trying to get a baseball, a commemorative ball for Yanho, but I also gotta do my thing, and I'm still trying to catch home runs, so. Uh, yeah, it's just one of those crazy, crazy nights. officially turned into a slugfest, albeit one with zero home runs so far. Bottom of the third inning, Padres are winning nine to four, and I'm here with my man, Yanho, because, do you know why? I do not have an idea, I have no idea now. Oh, really, you hope this? <laughs> I think he's happy, are you happy? I'm happy now. That's for you. <laughs> We'll just stand here and hug all night. <laughs> Let's go eat some, some food. We, we should eat some celebratory yes. food. We are now hungry. Sh show the logo to the camera. Yeah. yeah, that looks pretty good right there. So, a third out ball for you. Wow, that's hug number three. I'm going for double digits and hugs tonight. So, all right, we should definitely get some food. Maybe they still have some shrimp. I want to try that shrimp. Let's go. But I don't want to miss any Otani at bats, okay? All right? All right. We Let's did go. it. We did it. Hug number four. All right. <laughs> It's sold out of shrimp. I'm sorry, YouTube. I wanted to show some oh. shrimp to y'all and to my stomach. What is this? Oh, 
yeah. Wow. Some kind of fancy chicken skewer, I have no idea. And this is a potato tornado. <laughs> Also good. And this is potato ice cream. I don't know if it's just like vanilla ice cream with fries, but. Yeah, I have no idea. Am I supposed to do this? Well, sweet and savory. Mm. Mookie Betts. That is the player who just hit the first Major League Baseball home run ever in South Korea. Pretty cool to be here to witness it, but I am bummed that I didn't get to make a play on it, but it's cool to have all the space in the walkways to move around. And the slugfest rolls on as we enter the late innings, top of the seventh right now. Padres are up 11 to eight. Wow. was a very long and very crazy game from beginning to end and I'm kind of in a state of shock right now based on what happened in the top of the ninth inning. Manny Machado batting cleanup tonight for the Padres launched a 395 foot home run that ended up hitting the Soul Series sign below the scoreboard and ricocheting down onto the field and oh by the way it was a three-run shot because apparently there hadn't been enough offense. Well do you want to take a guess just guess who ended up getting that ball. Yeah, that's right, me. And I'll tell you all about that in just a moment. But first, I have to point out that the final score ended up being 15 to 11. Like I said, just absolute craziness. I called the game slugfest early on and the runs just kept on coming. Poor Yamamoto in his major league debut got shelled, but I predict he'll be fine. And so the Padres and Dodgers split this two game series. Again, just so happy to be here. I ended up with seven baseballs tonight, matching my total from the night before. And this was the final one. And just take a look at this ugly logo. <laughs> I guess that's where it must have hit the wall. If you follow me this way, you can just see what it looks like over there. The scoreboard up above and the Soul Series sign below. So I'm guessing it got rubbed off when it hit that. But anyway, the ball bounced down into left field. And I was hoping that Teoscar Hernandez, um, the Dodgers left fielder, would toss it up. 
So I was going through the walkway and trying to get down the stairs and it was crowded. He flipped it up, the fans bobbled it, and it went back on the field. I don't even think he noticed it right away. So that gave me more time to get down to the bottom and work my way over so I was right on top of the ball. Other people were coming down from the staircase as well. So it was packed. And there were many, many gloves reaching down over the wall. He flipped it right to me and I just reached a little farther than everyone else. And I got a game home run ball here in South Korea. Now, at the start of this season, I had 96 lifetime game home run balls. So just four more to reach triple digits. But as I've always said, I don't count the ones that are tossed up on my official home run list. So I'm still keeping that number at 96, but I do have a separate list of thrown home run balls. Check the description for this video. I'll throw the link there to my merch, zachhampel.com slash merch. There'll be a link as well uh, to a page on my website where I list all the game home runs I've ever gotten going back to the 1990s. So the goal this year is to get four more and reach 100, but this is still so cool. And yeah, I mean, including all the balls that I gave away, that brings my lifetime total to 12,400 and... 26! I hope all of South Korea just heard me yell that. Um, that's it. Uh, once again, I'm the last <clears throat> fan here in the stadium. I'm losing my voice because I've been yelling so much. I'm still jet lagged after several days. Uh, I have one more full day here in Seoul, then I'm going to Taipei, then to Hong Kong, making a real vacation out of it. So. What a way to kick off the season. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Anyway, I'm out. Take it easy. Okay. Oh, hug number five.